Good evening, I'm Brad, and I'm the managing partner at Cool and Corp Pharmacy out at Western, and the, the founder of Men's Health Down Under. <laughs> Must run in the health in the health profession. I think I've got a case study to start as well. So we're not quite fifty percent male in the room, but we'll assume we're all male. So assuming you're a fifty-five year old male or a partner of, you've you've previously been healthy as most fifty-five year old males have been, with no particular relationship with a with a general practitioner. You've just been diagnosed with prostate cancer, and the urologist that you've visited twice um, is asking if you want surgery or, or active treatment. The, urology, the, the urologist says he has a surgery spot um, available in 10 days time and this is not uncommon. So just been diagnosed uh, with prostate cancer, the, the GP's referred you on to the good urologist to, to have the problem fixed um, and you've now been told in a fairly short space of time you know, you've got an upcoming surgery or we're going to manage with, with active treatment. You hop on Google, have a bit of a look. The active treatment looks a bit scary, surgery looks a bit scary too, um, but at least the, the surgery is hopefully going to be curative. So what do you do? What do you know about prostate cancer and where do you start? Essentially that's what Men's Health Done Under is, is helping patients identify and as we'll talk about in a moment, we're helping at the other end after the patients have been through uh, their surgery um, or active treatment. So what do you do? The overwhelming likelihood is that, that you'll have surgery based on the age, the pathology, and the prognosis. We know that the surgery is quite successful, particularly uh, with diagnostic techniques for prostate cancer um, always improving. Uh, you know, we can pick it up more and more early if we're, if we're proactive. So we're probably going down a surgery track at age 55. You talk to the Prostate Foundation, um, they're really good. They're a not-for-profit charity group. Um, a lot of good resources. You might talk to some mates, maybe, maybe not. Um, depends how comfortable you are with your mates. At the back of your mind, you wonder what will be the outcome of the surgery. You know, hopefully, we'll be cancer free. But what else? What else will happen? Will we be incontinent? Will we have erectile issues? Will we have issues with our love life? Uh, being intimate for for men um, is a normal part of their life. You know, up until their 70s and 80s even. So, you know, that's a big consideration as well. And will we be cancer free? Um, if we're going to have surgery, we really hope to be, be cancer free because we're going to be dealing with, with all of these other issues, the incontinence, the erectile dysfunction, mental health issues as well. The truth is you're likely having surgery to be all of these things. So you're likely to be incontinent, you're likely to have erectile issues, you're likely to have mental health issues, you're likely to have relationship issues. There's about 18,000 cases of prostate cancer diagnosed in Australia annually, and roughly half of those patients go down the route of having surgery. The reality in, in, in this space for men is that you can't wait. It needs to be done sooner rather than later. And as a result, you tend to find that most men go down the, down the private health route. Um, in the clinic, we, we've seen probably 1,000 patients um, in the last couple of years, and most of them are coming through the private system. It's expensive, uh, probably a third of them don't have private health insurance, um, and they're shelling out in the vicinity of 10 to, tw 10 to 20 grand out of pocket. So it's, it's not money to sneak. <coughs> the, other, the unfortunate thing with the public system is that you can wait quite a while, and that the, surgi the surgical technique might not be as good, so you might have the junior urologist doing the, the surgery um, be open surgery or with a robotic surgery, maybe if you're lucky in Sydney. So what can be done? So Men's Health Down Under um, is, a, is a pharmacist-led counselling program. We work through penile rehab, uh, which includes uh, vacuum erection devices, tablets, injections, um, and all of these things help to the patient to regain erectile function. Um, we also do referrals to allied health, including physios, prostate nurses, sexologists, psychologists, GPs and so on. Um, we also have a bit of support from the PCFA, the Prostate Cancer um, Support Group. Penile rehab, just so you're aware, it, it, it's a, it can be quite confronting. Most of these blokes have never had to do anything with their penis uh, particularly. So they have to use the vacuum erection device for 10 to 15 minutes every day for up to 18 months. Uh, they take a tablet, which is about 150 bucks a month, uh, one a day for up to 18 months. 
uh, and they do an injection, intracavernosal injection, which is an injection into the penis, into the shaft, and they do that. They do that um, regularly as well. Thank you. <laughs>